By the way, let me also encourage you as we go through the Gospel of Matt, Mark, please, uh, in your devotions, right, in your devotions, and maybe in your Bible readings, um, please uh, try to read the Gospel of Matt, Mark, Gospel of Mark, okay, mm, which will help as we discuss these issues, you will have much more understanding of the Gospel of Mark. So please, when you, in your personal reading time, please spend some time uh, to read the Gospel of Mark, right? Follow, and let's look at the note here. Following Jesus' teaching, the multitude on the shore, Mark recorded further miracles of Jesus to reinforce Jesus' credentials as, as the Christ, the Son of God. Right, that's what Jesus. That's what Mark aim. You know, Mark says okay, Jesus tried to establish his credential. Here, Mark touches on several themes that have been prominent in this section. Especially, he noted the disciples' slowness. That's something Mark was very. Uh, you know, he was very interested. You know, disciples were very slow to grant who Jesus really is, right? That's what we, uh, Mark aimed, right? Made but even disciples were slow to understand, but demons will understand. Demons will understand, but disciples, it's hard for disciples to understand who really Jesus is. So you will see Mark is bringing these kinds of incidents that happen in his writing. After having taught multitudes, using parables, having explained the parables to his disciples, not to all the people, evening came. Jesus directed his disciples to take him into in a board to the far side of the lake. Right? Uh, it's quite interesting to go into, into the Sea of Galilee and may go to maybe a little more deeper area. As they were crossing the lake, what happened? There was a fierce storm arose, and the waves teared up by the winds began to crash over the boat, uh, filling boat with water. Right? That's what happened because um, this is tiny boats, you know, not like huge big ships like um, uh, you know what we see. You know, they use small boards. Uh, if you go to Israel and, uh, you know, please go again and you will see they have, there is one boat that um, they say this boat was used more than, you know, about 2,000 years ago during the time of Jesus. They don't say exactly this is the boat that the disciples used, but so there were, there were, there was a one finding, they, they got it from the dirt. One boat, which is, you know, they you did all the carbon 14 and they, they confirmed the date and they said, okay, this is, here is a boat. So we happen to see a boat, uh, maybe something that uh, Jesus and his disciples might have traveled in. All right? Okay. So what happens? What happens? Uh, exhausted after. A long day of teaching. What happened? Jesus had fallen asleep in the in the stern of the board, right? His disciples, fearing that board would sing, and they would lose all their lives, awakened him. Right. So what happened? You know, Jesus was sleeping. Right. Jesus was sleeping. Uh, you know, it looks like. Um, uh, you know, some of the people when they get in the boat, they, they can sleep well. You know, Jonah was sleeping. Jonah was sleeping when he was in the boat. And here Jesus was sleeping. But it is, it's a huge difference, right? Because they awakened him because, because they, they thought that, you know, this, uh, the boat is going to, going to be sung. It will be sung. Right? Okay. So they, they thought that they are going to die. Danger of perishing. Now Jesus awoke from the sleep. And Jesus saw the storm. And Jesus commanded the wind to cease blowing. 
Well, not easy. He commanded the wind because he is the son of God, right? He is the Christ. And the sea to stop its turning. And the wind and the sea became perfectly calm. That's what we read. Just became still. He then turned to his disciples and admonished them, asking them, hey, why, why were you afraid? Why? Such a fear of drowning indicated why? Lack of faith. The implication was that they should have realized who Jesus was and nothing could have prevented him from fulfilling Father's will. What is, what is Father's will? Hmm? What is Father's will? Father's will is that he come and be, be a sacrifice for sin. That is what the will of the Father. And Jesus was saying that nothing can provide him fulfilling from fulfilling Father's will. Not even threat of drowning. Yeah. You know, that, that is what the interesting thing. Until and unless you fulfill everything that God has planned for your life, until, you know, until that time, Literally, you fulfill, you will not die. None will die. You know, it happened to be, you know, and it's a sad day for us here. Uh, there was a, one of our friends who is uh, from a Roman Catholic church. Actually, he passed away, died because of heart attack. He, he's, he's maybe in the late like 50, maybe 58 or something like that, 58 or 57, that's old. He's not really old and he's very healthy man, very tall man, healthy man. Uh, that, you know, a couple of days, he just, um, he played badminton. She was playing badminton. He was going for a walk here and there. And uh, what happened, he suddenly he had a massive heart attack and he just died. He just died, and today is his funeral. So, uh, what is the point? What is the point? The point is this. Um, God has a plan, right, for every human being. And there you are here to fulfill that plan. And everything that God planned for your life has to be fulfilled. When everything is fulfilled on that day, you will be called home. You will be taken away. You will not die until everything is being fulfilled. And Jesus is go not going to die by drowning. It's impossible because it's that's not what God's plan. And anyway, the display of Jesus' authority of the elements of the nature, right? When Jesus spoke, it became calm so he could command to the nature to violate maybe a normal thing that is happening in the nature. This is command. He can stop a wind. So, filled his disciples all the more with the fear. And they began asking one another, who was this? Who is this man who had such a power and authority over nature? Who is this man? Who are, who are asking this question? Who are asking? Disciples are asking. Disciples are asking, who is this man? 